Okay, next are lip products. I looked online to see what the shelf life for um, lip products is. And let's see, it says, oh shoot, I just closed it out. Hang on. It says lipstick two to three years, lip liner two to three years, and lip gloss 18 to 24 months. Now that was on this website. I'm not sure about that. Um, another one that I looked at says that lipsticks and glosses have a shelf life of 6 to 12 months. That's a big difference. So I'm really not sure. Let me see if I can find someone else. Well, okay, here's one that says the shocking truth about your lip gloss. Okay, really I think it says here that it depends upon the brand of the lip gloss. They say more, the more expensive a gloss is, the more it is less likely to expire soon. Um, lip liner usually 12 months, lipstick up to 2 years, and lip gloss for only 18 months. Some say that lip gloss can only last for 9 months, but a year can do. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I am going to make some decisions about what to do. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lip liners. I never use them. I use the twirl every once in a while, but that's the only one. This is a Smashbox uh, liquid metal and liquid pigment sample. And I've been meaning to give it to my niece because she's a, a makeup junkie. And, of course, she looks beautiful and everything. And I, But I keep forgetting to, to give that to her. I don't guess it, it's not been opened, so I think it's probably still good. I'll probably keep that for her. Then the rest of these are, I really only have, like, two of the Buxom. The White Russian, I think those two will still make the cut. This one is a Revlon Color Stay. Didn't like it. That's going. Clarins that I'm keeping. This Melted. I've had it quite a while. Probably going to get rid of it. This Melted. This is in the color uh, Fig. Keeping it. I like it. Chubby Stick Boy. It's close on this. Um, this is in what color? Graped Up. I don't wear it very much, but I think I'm going to hang on to it. Uh-oh, this is not looking good, is it? All right, this is the Butter Balm Ulta. I haven't had that long. Keeping it. This YSL. And this is in the color... I don't know. I don't know what the color is. I don't know if you can see that or not. Sorry, I just cut y'all off. I don't know if you can read that or not. But anyway, you know what? That's been a disappointment. A lot of money didn't really love. Not keeping it. Um, this is Mac Whirl. Keeping it. This is getting close to the end of its shelf life. This is Rhubarb. Gonna keep it. Okay. I think these two are the same. 350. What is this? Is this the L'Oreal? Yes, this is L'Oreal. I really like their lip products. And I'll look at those and smell those. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. This is a Clinique. And this is in the color Plum Pop. Don't love it, y'all. Everybody else talked about. I don't know if it's the color I don't like. I don't love the formula. I'm going to keep it for a while, though. This is Revlon 035 had it while getting rid of it. This is um, this is the it that was ever so popular. It's hitting it's getting close. I better get rid of it. I've had it quite a while. This is my current favor favorite. This is 904. 
varnished. I can't read that. I'm telling you, even with glasses, I can't read that. But anyway, I'm going to keep that. I like that. This it had it for a long time. It I've had them for a long time. It had it for a long time. Going to get rid of them. Love them, but going to get rid of them. Uh, 560 Saucy Mauve. Again, it's this L'Oreal. I really like L'Oreal lip, lip products. And Milani. Now, I'm down to only four Milani. I had more, but I didn't like all the shades. And I gave some of those away. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep those. Then, this is one of my favorites. It's a Maybelline. They didn't no longer make this. And I loved it. I loved it, loved it, loved it. But, it's... I've had it, so I need to get rid of it. Ugh, I'm getting rid of some, y'all. And then these are just like the lip treatments that I have. Bite. Agave lip balm. Keeping that. Let's see. This is Jack Black. I'm keeping that. Jack Black. Keeping that even though I've lost the lid. Abreva. Keeping that. Then this lanolin. I'll keep that for hard times. Lip sync. I've got one open. This is um, intense protection. Oh, sometimes I put that on at night. I really feel like that helps. This is an old balm that I thought I had to have. Getting rid of. Didn't love it. Cheap chapstick getting rid of. Now this is a, a balm that my daughter-in-law's brother is a beekeeper. And he makes this. So I am going to keep that because that feels really nice on your lips. Keeping that. And then I have these two that are, let's see, who is this by? Grove, and it's mint and argon. Love those. Keeping those. Okay. So, keeping a lot, but getting rid of some. Let's see, what am I getting rid of? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11. And then most of the lip liners. So probably getting around, getting rid of about 15 lip products. I feel good with that. Because I don't, I can't wear all that. I, there's no reason to keep it. And there's no reason to take a chance of it being contaminated or expired or anything like that. Because I already have a little trouble with dry lips anyway. Alright guys, we are moving on to the very next category.